perfect. This is Valky Ray, also known as Ray Ray. <laughs> Rar XD. Oh no, ma'am. <laughs> You know, I realized everything's kind of blowing up, you know, with these orgs and stuff reaching out to me. I realized, like, wow, this is actually happening. Uh, last year, my dad passed away from cancer, and that whole year, or six months, I was taking care of him by myself. It was the hardest time of my life, and you guys really, like, stuck around and helped me through that. I know, it's already a lot of people, so every time I, I know, I've been doing this for so long, but every time I stream, I still get nervous. Off the wall. Oh! 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 We won! Oh my god, Ben! 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 Oh, no. oh my god! That's so crazy. Four foot nine. Yeah! You're trolling! You're trolling! You're trolling! You're trolling! Four five. I'm kidding. You're like five three, I think. Before she was part of a squad of streamers playing Among Us with a member of the US Congress. And AOC, what have you been doing this round? I was in the upper left part of the map, and I don't know, I was doing it. I feel like it was Before she became the first female content creator to join 100 Thieves. She fits our brand so well, we have to go and get her. And I'm really glad that we were able to put this together and make it happen. And even before she made a name for herself playing Fortnite. Last Ooh, second damage is. play, Thank you for well gifting done. Yep. Because subs. Because he gets that one point of damage done to the player. One shot of 100 HP. people. That means we're at his match. Right now. We missed the whole last game. Rachel Valkyrie Hofstetter was holding down three jobs, trying to make it through community college. One of those jobs was a gig at GameStop where Valkyrie could indulge her lifelong passion for video games, as she mentioned in this short autobiographical video with 100 Thieves. So yeah, I was playing games my whole life, and then I was going to school, I went to a community college, and I got my transfer degree because I didn't know what I wanted to do yet with my life. And so I was working at a car wash, I was working at a bank, and then I picked up a job at GameStop. Valkyrie found video games to be a welcome distraction from a difficult family dynamic. When she was growing up, her parents often argued, and the fights were exacerbated by her father's drinking problem. I think my mom really encouraged uh, me to play games is because since my dad was an alcoholic and they were always fighting, I, I think they would feel bad. My mom was a housewife and my dad was the one that was working every day. And so they were always fight every night when he come home and he's drunk. And then my mom just wanted us to be happy. So she would just buy us whatever we wanted. And I just always wanted video games. So I think she just, really wanted my sister and I to just be happy. And she carried her love of video games into adulthood. Eager to share her favorite thing with a like-minded community, Valkyrie started an Instagram account where she posted about the game she was playing, upcoming game releases, and pictures of her retro consoles. As her following on Instagram grew to well over 15,000, she considered uploading some of her gaming exploits to YouTube. But it wasn't long before her followers convinced her to give Twitch a go. And then I thought, that well, that seems easier. I don't have to record and edit and upload. I could just stream. So and then I did. And then here we are four years later. <laughs> While many streamers follow trends to gain subs on Twitch, Valkyrie just wanted to enjoy a variety of her favorite titles, games like Dark Souls and The Walking Dead. I liked having people that wanted to be there for me rather than for a particular game. And so it was very interesting, like I'd always switch games and there'd be like a set group of people that would always follow me and then new people would come in. Six months later, Valkyrie was regularly streaming to a few hundred people and made a decision to quit all of her other jobs to focus on her Twitch channel. When I quit my last job, GameStop, I went full time streaming for, it's been three and a half years now, I think. And I was chilling, doing it full time. You know, I averaged between 200, 400 viewers and doing variety. But everything changed when Fortnite came out. Valkyrie tried the Battle Royale title at the suggestion of her chat and was instantly addicted. Frick, all the loot fell. 
<laughs> this poor guy. Off the wall. <gasps> oh! oh! We won! Over here, I got him. Uh, right behind the belt, behind the belt. Yeah. Yeah, hey. I, I went off that game. Holy yeah, easy, I went easy. off. I went off. As her viewership numbers jumped into the thousands, Valkyrie found herself with offers from various different orgs who wanted to bring her on board. And ultimately, Valkyrie settled on a last minute bid from 100 Thieves. You know, I realized everything's kind of blowing up, and, you know, with these orgs and stuff reaching out to me, um, I realized, like, wow, this is actually happening. And then you guys hit me up at the last second and uh, change the game. From the outside looking in, Valkyrie's story was one of a meteoric rise to stardom. She was living the dream, but behind the scenes, she was dealing with a profound loss. About a year before Valkyrie's Fortnite exploits made her a Twitch superstar, her father lost a battle to cancer. The money Valkyrie earned from her stream allowed her to take care of him when he was ill, while the supportive community she built helped her to get through the toughest period of her life. Uh, last year, my dad passed away from cancer and that whole year or six months, I was taking care of him by myself. It was the hardest time of my life. And um, you guys really like stuck around and helped me through that. And like now because of you guys, I'm, I'm able to help my mom. So like, you're helping me and other people as well. And Valkyrie's devotion to her family didn't end there. Supporting her mom became the streamer's inspiration to continue to reach for the stars. Some of you know that I take care of my mom full time. She lost her job um, three years ago. And ever since she lost her job three years ago, I've been taking care of her entirely. My mom is pretty much my baby now. But Valkyrie didn't start streaming to make money. She did it because she genuinely loved video games. And that sincerity, along with her willingness to be candid about the ups and downs in her life, quickly garnered Valkyrie even more fans. This past TwitchCon, since the blow up, was very insane. I've been to previous TwitchCons, but this past year, I had two or three meet and greets, all like two hours, and we had to cap the line because there were so many people. And it just, like, I never really realized how many people actually know who I am and are following me. And there were plenty of ups for Valkyrie to share. She moved into 100 Thieves' tricked out content house in LA. Ray, what's your favorite spot? Um, honestly, this is quite the view. Oh, okay. I'm actually really liking this balcony right now. Balcony Very book? nice. Uh, and she got to do the things she loved most for a living. <laughs> oh my god, Ben! 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 Oh, it's a bummer. What the fuck? The chasing you. <laughs> Valkyrie's life was rife with possibilities, but things can't stay the same forever. In January 2020, the streamer signed an exclusive agreement with YouTube, a move that allowed her to not only secure a steady paycheck and keep all of her content in one place, but also gave her the creative freedom to branch out. Now that I've made the switch to YouTube, I feel like I can focus on not just gaming, but focus on other interests that I had as well, like beauty, fashion, fitness, health and wellness, and just whatever it is, vlogging, traveling, all of it. I feel like I can do anything now. About a month later, Valkyrie moved out of 100 Thieves' house and into her own place. She continued making content for the org, but wanted to be able to separate her work and her private life. So um, as some of you know, Matt, Nate Shaw, Jack Courage, and Brooke live at the content house, which is five minutes away from here. I wanted to separate my work life from my at home life a bit. So that's why I have like my laptop here and stuff. So I come home, I get away from my computer. I'm starting to focus more on like health and wellness and fitness as well. On top of moving house, moving from Twitch to YouTube, came with its own set of obstacles. But in spite of many tears being shed along the way, Valkyrie never stopped being her lovable, genuine self. So I just take some of this eyeshadow stuff and just dump it around my eyes. I guess I just don't care enough. I don't know, I guess I just don't care enough to learn how to do makeup. It's like not a hobby of mine. And in the summer of 2020, Valkyrie hit a significant milestone in her career. 1 million YouTube subscribers. 
Refresh? What? I wanted to see it change by itself! Nicole Vera, thank you for joining. Oh my god, that's so crazy. Wow. Valkyrie also made the decision to move in with several other prominent female streamers, including Pokimane. I actually don't know how tall I am. Oh, I don't know how tall I am anymore either. Oh, oh my god, god, I'm scared! Put on it. Does it matter if my head's not showing? I bought this just for this so moment. <laughs> Holy sh**, you're four foot nine. Yeah! You're trolling! You're trolling! You're trolling! You're trolling! You're trolling. Since the move, Valkyrie has been spending most of her time playing Twitch's latest multiplayer craze, Among Us. And one of those games turned out to be historic. In an effort to reach younger voters, a US Congresswoman, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, put out a call on Twitter for anyone who'd play Among Us with her on stream. Valkyrie joined a squad of other popular streamers like Pokimane, Disguised Toast, Dr. Lupo, and a few others for what turned out to be the third most watched individual stream in Twitch's history. One more kill, one more kill, one more kill. Oh. <laughs> no. 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 Using her influence to hype up a female politician's campaign is right on brand for Valkyrie, who's made it a point to feature other female streamers in her videos to help represent women in the gaming community. And Valkyrie seems to have no plans to slow down anytime soon. Her YouTube channel currently sits at over 2 million subscribers, more than double the number she had in June 2020, making her the fastest growing live streamer in the world right now. I got it. Guys, I win. I can't believe I won. Valkyrie faced her fair share of adversity, family troubles, building her streaming career from the ground up, and more. But through it all, she managed to never lose sight of who she really was. And if her phenomenal channel growth is anything to go by, Valkyrie is definitely here to stay. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.